Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back again to this video. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and we want to do this short analysis. My question this time is, why only Mount Kenya? Why are we seeing William Samuel Ruto, Martha Karua coming Mount Kenya and not other parts of the country. Politics has changed since William Samuel Ruto and Raira Morodinga named their running mates. Raira Morodinga has sent Martha Karua to Mount Kenya to do fort hunting and prepare the ground better than they did before. And William Samuel Ruto has just followed the same route to make sure that he has maintained the ground in Mount Kenya. In case you are here for the first time and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly take a second or two and subscribe. Remember to put on a notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. As we are speaking right now, Martha Karua is in Kiambu County and William Samoy Ruto is in Muranga and thereafter he will go Nyeri County. The two are just trying to make sure that the, the parties have gotten enough votes. The choice of running mate from Mount Kenya was not an easy task as people were expected. So many people are saying that Raira Morodinga did a wrong choice to take Mother Karua and leave Kalonzo Msioka. Actually, as things stand right now, Mother Karua has caused a lot of panic to Kenya Kwanza team. That's why, as you can see, immediately Martha Karua was selected as Raira Morodinga's running mate. He went back to Mount Kenya to thank Raira Morodinga and Azimio team for giving him that opportunity. Immediately he started touring Mount Kenya Kenya Kwanza also realized that if they sleep from Mount Kenya, then Mata Karua will give Raira Morodinga a lot of thoughts comparing to that of Kenya Kwanza. That's why you can see they're running in Mount Kenya and not in any other county. But don't joke with Raira Morodinga. Raira Morodinga was in Kisumu. After Kisumu, he went to South Sudan, and today he is in Narok County as Mother Karua is doing campaigns in Mount Kenya, Kiambu County. Now, as you can see, as the other team of Kenya Kwanza is concentrating in Mount Kenya, following Mother Karua, Raira Morodinga is outside doing another campaign. Also, we know very well that western part is not a place where Raira Morodinga is needed to be there every day. We've seen they are campaigning for Raira Morodinga day and night. And that's why uh, we have seen many people from ANC joining Azmiro Moja and trying to campaign for Raira Morodinga. We know the party leader of ANC, Musari Mdavad, is in Kenya Kwanza, but his people have totally disagreed with what William Samoe Ruto is doing with them, and they have decided to campaign for Raira Morodinga. As you can see, it's like William Samoe Ruto Amezingirwa sana na Azmiro Moja 
when he's doing one rally Raira Moro Dinga or Azmira Moja is doing more than three campaigns in different parts of the country but Mount Kenya votes is now very important coming August 9th election that's why you can see Martha Karua is doing the best to make sure Raila Morodinga gets more than 40% from Mount Kenya. As things stand right now, we've seen a mass movement behind Martha Karua. Not only in Mount Kenya, women have offered great support behind Martha Karua. Yesterday when I was doing another analysis, there's something came to my mind and I want to tell you that when you see Azimur Omoja, we have Raira Morodinga and Martha Karua. And when we have the other side of Kenya Kwanza, we have William Samoy Ruto and Rigati Gashawa. These two people, the only person who is hunting thoughts is William Samoy Ruto. The only people who are going to vote for Rigati Gashawa is people from Nyeri County. Why am I saying so? The choice of William Samoy Ruto to that of Raira Morodinga, it has caused a lot of differences between the parties. That's why you can see in Kenya Kwanza there are some leaders who have not seen with William Samoy Ruto since he chose Rati Kashawa as his running mate. And in Azimio Raumoja, we have seen people very happy that Raira Morodinga has taken a woman as his running mate. But we can see the other side attacking Raira Morodinga. I remember very well that Moses Kulia said, Raira Morodinga alichafuliwa jina kitambo sana. Ata saizi akijalipu kujibaka mafuta, haesi nuka vizuri because jina yake ilijafuka kitambo. And yesterday, Rikati Kashawa said in Machako start, walikosana na baba ya raira kitambo. So, which means kuna ile kitu watu wanatafutana. But ukiangalia isa idingina, they are not attacking anybody. They are doing peaceful campaigns. I don't know whether it's a, a strategy they have come with to campaign without attacking anybody from Kenya Kwanza. But you can see Kenya Kwanza is seriously emphasizing on attacking Raila Moro Dinga and Martha Karua a little bit. Because, to be honest, if Martha Karua had joined Kenya Kwanza, wage mchukua kama running mate. Since, he joined as, since she joined as Miora Umoja, now they are attacking her that she is old, she is not married, and other names they are calling Mother Karua. But if she had joined Kenya Kwanza, they could have praised Mother Karua as a corrupt free woman in the country. That is politics. The other day I was asking my friends if they are saying Mother Karua is old and Raila Morodinga is old. They elected Mwai Kipaki second term when he was 75 plus years. And remember there's a time they elected Mwai Kipaki while on a wheelchair. All those they are not considering but right now they have to use to use old as a tool to completely kill Azmiola Moja, candidates that's Raira Morodin and Martha Karua. And there's also a comment uh, 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 I read from one of the posts saying that how on you Kura? And actually, the attacking force Kenya Kwanza are using to attack Azmiola Moja, they are going to cost them. This is a team we know very well that they started campaigning long time ago. They have created 
or they have hunted enough foods which they need to maintain. But the way they are attacking the opponents will make them lose. When we are doing this analysis, we try to balance both sides so that we can favor our fans. Because in my channel, I have fans who are in Kenya Kwanza and I have those who are in Azmiola Moja. But most of our analysis are based on against Kenya Kwanza because they are using a lot of energy to attack the other opponents than the other side. So when we do analysis, just comment there and tell us, let's do this next. For this any video you want me to do, you just drop a comment and I will do it. Thank you for watching this video. Let's prepare for the next video.